At horseback riding camp as a kid, we sang a song by the crackling fire each night, stomping our feet on the ground. I shall sing unto the Lord, for he is triumphed gloriously, the horse and rider thrown into the sea. It was fun trying to get all the claps and stomps in time and seeing which half of the campers could outsing the other half. Later in life, I was reading through the book of Exodus and almost fell out of my chair when I read this in chapter 15, verses 20 and 21. Then Miriam the prophet, Aaron's sister, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women followed her with timbrels and dancing. Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. Both horse and driver he's hurled into the sea. The song I'd sung on warm summer evenings with my fellow campers was in the Bible. Moses' sister Miriam sang this song more than 3,000 years ago when the Israelites made it safely across the Red Sea. This is the first song recorded in the Bible, and people have been singing songs to the Lord ever since. Biblical scholars claim there are at least 185 songs in Scripture, maybe more depending on if some of the poems were originally sung. Singing to the Lord isn't a new thing, but it's a great thing and a timeless thing. So stomp your feet and clap your hands and grab your tambourine or simply hum, but tell God with a little song how much you love Him.